Today we got a few more upgrades for the Honda S2000. Some of this stuff is, you know, just precautionary things or necessary things that most S2000 owners are going to have to switch out at some point. Some of it is for just cosmetic. Some of it is uh, just to make the driving experience a little better. So let's take a look at what we got today. Okay, over here we got some other goodies. This is from Renegade Motorsports. Really excited about these. These are, you know, basically cosmetic. But uh, having the Grand Prix White S2000, I wanted to accent it with this beautiful rear view mirror. That's a wide view. Uh, you'll see the white from the outside should complement the paint very nicely. The new shift knob. That's going to look really good in the interior. We have this beautifully crafted timing chain tensioner from Ballad Sports. This is uh, all billet, very high quality. Lifetime warranty, it's just an overall, just a great product. And you know, the car having over 160,000 miles is a very common thing to replace in uh, pretty much every S2000. It's something that's bound to fail if you still have the OEM TCT in, in your car. Uh, this is gonna be a must have replacement. And in coupling with this, I also got the timing chain gear which complements the Ballad Sports TCT. We'll go more into this once it's uh, being installed, but this is just a very high quality piece. I mean, you, you can really feel how solid this is in here. Just very well machined, beautiful piece. It's, it's a shame that this isn't out in the open more, but um, the, the premise behind this is to correct the timing by 1.5 degrees to put it back to stock timing where the uh, engine was intended to be originally. Because when the timing chain stretches, your timing is then lower by 1.5 degrees. So this is meant to correct that back to stock. So being that this is an all new platform for me, a new project car, Dr. Drew has already done a bunch of work on the S2000 for me. More maintenance type stuff. More of the specialized work is gonna be done at Elite Motorsports in Burlingame. Uh, Gary Young, who's the owner and operator of Elite Motorsports, has, uh, himself is one of the fastest S2000 drivers in the Bay Area. He, of course, has an S2000 himself. He knows the ins and outs of that car uh, just as good as anybody else. So I trust the work on my S2000 in his hands. So we're gonna bring all this stuff to him. He's gonna do the work on the car for us and uh, we'll see what it's all like when it's done. All right, so let's start with the shift knob, which should be relatively simple. Lighting's a little better out here. All right, next up is the Renegade rear view mirror. And I almost totally forgot about this guy. I also got the brake button uh, upgrade from Renegade as well. So we're gonna put that in right now too. Okay, so I forgot to hit record. Uh, there's a stock button that I butchered taken out. Uh, you just twist it off with a, some pliers. If you wanna preserve this, you can wrap it with a cloth or something like that. I, I knew I wasn't gonna keep this thing because it was already starting to peel. So uh, that button is out. It just turns and there it is. 
There it is with no button in it. And then you simply take the Renegade button and you twist that on. All right, let's try it out. Ah, feels so much better. Let's get the rest of the stuff down to Elite Motorsports in Burlingame. We're gonna go see Gary. He'll get the rest of the stuff installed for us. Uh, I figured since he's doing the timing chain gear and the TCT, we're gonna get a valve adjustment as well. Just make sure everything is all dialed in for the upcoming first track day for the S2000. One thing I forgot to mention that we're also getting installed today is the Ballad Sports oil baffle pan. So again, very high quality uh, construction. It's a simple bolt on. It'll help keep the oil where the sump is so the engine doesn't get starved from oil during hard cornering, uh, which can happen in the S2000 because once you get it dialed in and get some sticky tires on there, uh, there is a good chance that your oil will not get into the parts of the engine where it's highly needed, especially in high RPM situations. So. Uh, we're gonna pack this stuff up. We're gonna go see Gary at Elite. He's gonna get it installed for us And we'll see what it's all like when it's done. Okay, we're down here at Elite Performance in Burlingame and the usual suspects are here once again We've got Will's crazy Civic Type R With no wing. Wonder what's going on there. We're gonna have to ask him about that. We've got Gary's S2000 those are end goals right there. Those are end goals. We got some sick yellow paraphernalia. Uh, beautiful NSX and uh, this uh, Ford GT. This place does some pretty trick work on cars. So I feel confident that Gary's gonna be able to do all the work needed on the S2000 filled in with uh, my usual crew, Dr. Drew and whatnot. So anyways, we're here, a car's warm. I want you to listen to the engine now and see what I'm talking about. What's up, Gary? So it's a little bit hard to tell, but it's there if you listen to it a little bit uh, when it's not cold just a little warm and uh, maybe not all the way warm but um, it's the first signs of the TCT starting to go bad you, you start to hear a little bit of uh, metal on metal slapping and uh, that's just the, the TCT tensioner just starting to give way the the spring is no longer pushing up against the timing chain it's no longer keeping tension on the timing chain so the Ballot Sports TCT will fix that. Um, the timing will be readjusted back to stock with the Ballot Sports uh, timing gear. We'll get the oil pan baffle in there. I already got my shift knob and the e-brake button and my rear view mirror in there. Those look really nice in there. I'm actually really excited about those pieces. And shifting is so much more fun with that shift knob on there. It does lengthen the throw of the shift a little bit, fractionally so, uh, but I don't think that's a bad thing because money shifting in these cars are pretty easy to do because of how uh, short the, the gears are. Uh, Gary's here, we're gonna leave the car with him. He's gonna do all the work, we'll get everything done. He's gonna do a valve adjustment for me too, just make sure the car is all good and straight, and we'll pick it up later and see what's up. All right, so it's been a few days since we've had all the work done. The uh, valve adjustment, the Ballot Sports timing chain gear, and the timing chain tensioner, and the oil pan baffle. So I wanted to give it a few days so I could really express it or get a good feeling for the changes, but I gotta tell you, the changes were immediate. Um, it's incredible how big a difference a proper valve job and a tune can make
like, especially of a car of this age. So I got my windows up, I got la my lapel mic on. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. But so here's the gist of it. I mean, the biggest difference I noticed immediately was how much smoother the car is at idle and at low speeds. And it's, it's one of those things that when you're getting into a car that's new to you, if it's an older car like this one, you don't necessarily have a basis for comparison, right? Unless you've worked on these cars a lot, unless you've had multiple of these cars, it's really hard to tell what normal should feel or sound like, unless it's something that's just super obvious. So for me, when I first got this car, I knew the things I wanted to have looked at or done just as a precaution, but I didn't really know if the car that I had had any issues or problems that I actually had to address. Case in point, I knew I wanted to get the oil change, the transmission fluid done, you know, just some basic maintenance stuff. But I didn't know if any of the shakes and rattles were out of the ordinary. But now having done, having the work done that I just had done by Elite uh, Performance of Burlingame, I can tell you the feeling is night and day. It is so much happier now. The car feels so much better. It feels so much stronger. I knew that engine was healthy, but the shaking that I heard from the timing chain tensioner and just the, the VTEC, it was strong, but not quite as strong as I remember from many years ago. So now having the tune done, the car feels so good. It, it feels so strong and the mid RPM range, it actually feels like I'm in a lower gear now in the mid RPM as compared to how it felt like before the two. I cannot recommend the Ballad Sports combo with the TCT and timing chain gear enough. I think that's an absolute must have for any S2000 owner. Uh, it's The TCT is absolutely something you're gonna have to do at some point. So that's it for today's video. Thanks again. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Really helps these videos get out to other enthusiasts just like you. I've got some updates on the FK8 coming up very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. Until then, stay hungry, stay fast, stay tuned. I'm Michael Baxi, and I'm out. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now. Up early when the sun is out. Not sudden now, my own soul. But those real ones, they coming now. Oh look, who's reaching out? Old friends wanna feature now. They don't work.